guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. So first and foremost, no, this is not my complete uh, definitive team that I think you should run for this category. But I did throw in these two Bardocks on the team for the memes and because it was awesome to be able to throw SS1 and two Bardock onto the team with the SS3 Bardock for his showcase. So for now, we're going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to try to get STR Bardock with the, um, with the Intelligence one. Uh, they link really well. Aside from that, you know, physical or physical Bardock SS1 links probably better now that I think about it because he does have that support passive that gives 20% attack while this one gives 30. But, you know, they both have Super Saiyan, so that's, you know, draw. But the other one has First Awaken. The physical one has First Awaken. So we're going to try to showcase this guy on this category because you guys asked me. And I did give him some orbs. Not a whole lot, but it's Intelligence Day. Uh, and I got him up to like plus like 400. So. Hopefully he can do well, um, but either way, I hope you guys enjoy this. You know what to do if you do enjoy it. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Yeah, I purposely, I honestly probably should have put the STR Bardock in the middle of all those attacks so I can get lower on HP, so I can trigger this Bardock in the middle. I can get his passive more often because I really want to try to get the passive as often as I can. Uh, and to do that, you have to be below 70% HP requirement. We're going to go there, and I'll give you the purples on the back end. Okay. So Bardock is a really good unit. He's been calculated as being one of the hardest hitting units in the game, but it's contingent on him having his support passive. See the attacks at at 695,000 right now. He really needs his support passive for an additional 40% to really start dominating. So keep that in mind uh, as you look at Bardock. And of course, Majin Vegeta is here. <laughs> uh, most of the time I don't bother running units like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do have some of them. Not all of them, but I don't even bother to use the LR cards most of the time. Anyways, okay. So, SS1, SS2 Bardock are here. Um, actually, I'm gonna get... Okay, so I should I should have uh, actually put Bardock off rotation last turn. But that's why I'm running Boss Rush, so I have more time to do stuff like this. Because, you know, I will showcase it again. But what happened was, like yesterday or so, I went ahead and showcased the SS3 category team. And I had, uh... I had SS3 Goku on there, tech, and his passive never went off. And I, I said in the video, you know what, I have to do it again because his passive, it just was unreliable. It never went off in that video, and that's why I like to do things like boss rush. But I feel like it gets monotonous, right, for me as the player and for you guys to watch if I do it too often. All right, let's go ahead and jump in again with that ceiling super attack right here, <laughs> that beautiful 50,000. And by the way, if you're wondering... Frieza's leader skill is the same as Bardock's percentage-wise, but Frieza does it for a different category, of course. So here we'll actually get the overlay to pop up right now. That means Bardock's passive just triggered. So got that Bardock passive in there. So let's see what happens. And yes, uh, assuming I'm not crazy, Frieza 130% HP and then 170% attack and defense, just like Bardock SS3's leader skill. Okay, so we have Bardock here. Gonna leave him with Goku for now because that Fierce Battle Link is powerful. It's powerful. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And lastly, I will give you the reds. That passive is gonna kick in. He's sealed, so nothing to worry about. Bardock is gonna take 18 from the first hit, but the next hit he'll take less from. Assuming we don't beat him here, right? <laughs> All right, so he hit for 669,000 right there. And you see the tanking. Okay, cool. So one other thing that I wanna establish is Bardock with more of his common links because I need to get him with uh, the first awakened guy and stuff like that. But my SS3 Goku had a lot of links triggered here too. They all had a lot of links triggered for the most part. It's funny how they collectively just went ahead and kept hitting harder and harder. <laughs> they just like, oh, I'm gonna hit this. I was like, I'm gonna outdo you. Well, I'm gonna outdo you. Um, I don't know, man. I really like this team though. It's really fun. Okay, so Bardock was on rotation. I need to leave this guy off rotation. Next turn, I should have two Bardocks. So that's cool, but not exactly the way I want it. But two Bardocks is cool. I don't want to heal, but I want to heal because I don't want to die. But like, I trust Frieza. Like, Frieza has really, yeah, Frieza's good. Frieza's a really good unit. Like, his ability to debuff right here, the enemy's attack is awesome, and his tanking and everything like that. It, it, Frieza's incredible, man. I, I did not notice it until I got the Frieza. Because, like, I, I completely just skipped Frieza the first time he came out, and I'm really happy to own him. Okay. 100 damage. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and now we have Bardock with his own passive and with himself. <laughs> uh, and as you see, 
Linking with himself isn't really doing anything, aside from triggering Fierce Battle and Super Saiyan, which the Goku have, but you have two support passives triggered in this scenario. So I will, I mean, it doesn't really matter. This Bardock's just gonna finish it. So next time though, here's something funny. Next time I will have all three Bardock's, all three Bardock's. Now, it's kind of hard to trigger it though, because I believe physical Bardock, you need to be above 30% HP. <laughs> to trigger his support passive so I'm like a little bit below that and I don't have a heal that'll get me right above it yeah uh, okay 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 let me let me go ahead and um, it doesn't really matter at this point what I do actually it really doesn't matter I'm not gonna get that Bardock passive for the physical go uh, physical Bardock excuse me but at the very least, I'm not going to die. And that's all that I care about. But still, that is a support passive of 20%. Not the biggest, but we, the main reason why he's here is for that first awaken link to trigger. So I'm going to pull him up here just to make sure that I'm right. Just to make sure I'm right. Okay. Uh, One million. <laughs> oh, he got stunned anyway from the Vegeta. That's nice. All right. So here we have Bardock. Um, you guys don't see this, of course. So physical Bardock. The Adokan Awakened version. All three! All oh, triple Bardock rotation looking nice. <laughs> All right. Um, I need to put this Bardock in the front. And I'm going to give you that key. All right. Show me the Bardock. Dang it. Okay. So when 30% or above. Yeah. Okay. Like I thought. Now I will actually... I'm going to use this because we're missing the 20% boost that I would have got. So this will give it back to me. And I'll get a little bit more defense on everybody. So this is a really fun rotation. <laughs> in fact... In fact, I need to heal anyway, so let's just go all the way. Let's go all the way. 25% more attack. Going all the way, boys. All the way. <laughs> How much is he going to hit for? 170% leader. Everything is triggered except for limit breaking form. Okay. 1.4. All right. So, aside, so he basically has what he would have had with that support rotation. So that's about where Bardock will probably cap out in this. But w the real test would be getting him with the physical Bardock and SS3 Goku with both of those two Bardock's passive set. The physical one being above 30, but being below 70 for the intelligence one. And then getting that SS3 Goku for, uh, you know, limit breaking form on the back end. Let's see if I can trigger that. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun trying to line these units up a certain way, man. Um... <laughs> I take a lot of pride in my showcases. Um, okay, okay, so Frieza. Uh, what do, what do? Uh, okay, I'll just, I'll leave you there, that's fine. And Goku, all those rainbows. Oh, we're really close to a Dokkan attack too. We're really close to a Dokkan attack. Okay, oh, Frieza, the tank god. Double digits, man. Double digits. Oh. All right. Well, it looks like Goku's going to finish this guy because these, these two are really freaking powerful on this team. It's it's insane how powerful some of these units are. Uh, okay. So right here, we'll have an opportunity to get the Dokkan attack with the Bardock against a good rotation because... Generally, Dokkan attacks are best in scenarios where you take on a bunch of enemies because they hit everybody. So we'll get to show them off in that way. And what are you linking with Frieza for? Just Fierce Battle? That's what I figured. So we do have the Support Bardox passive here, but we do not have Fiz or Intelligence Bardox passive himself right now. Unfortunately, because I'm not low enough on HP. Okay. Also, now that I think about it, those, you know, the Goku and Vegeta probably did a little better than they should have, because I think that the support item for Bulma was still triggered at the time. I was looking at, I was looking at Goku's attack stat, and I was like, why is his attack, like, literally over 2 mil? I could swear it was over 2 mil. Um, so, yeah. But still, he would have been powerful, right, with the B meme. All right, let's go. Let's see what we get. Come on. No crits. 2.8. Okay, so he can't crit, of course, because I, not that I didn't want to crit. He can't crit. I don't have the dupe in him. I have a dupe in my Frieza though, if, you know, but I don't have a dupe in Bardock. I told myself I wasn't gonna try anymore on that banner either. Okay, so next time I will have Bardock, I will have 
uh, SS3 Bardock, and I'll have SS3 Goku like I wanted. So how can I take the most damage here? I need to take a good chunk of damage without dying. And herein lies the issue with Bardock, but it's not its not a bad thing, right? It, it adds something to the game. It adds, it adds a little bit of flavor. It, it changes up the game a bit, man. Um, I think that it's an interesting way to have to play, to say, hey, how can I get to a certain percentage but not die? And I, I actually accomplished it here, or should have. Come on, please. Please, I'm so close. Really? <sighs> It's <laughs> so close. I'm right above it. I'm at like 73%. That's freaking him. Oh my god, man. Well, I can still get Bardock with limit breaking form and stuff here. So it's not the worst thing. But I, I don't get that 40% Bardock passive in the middle. SS3 Bardock passive. So we still get First Awaken, Super Saiyan, limit breaking form. Um, and over in a flash and prepare for battle. Like every link is triggered on this guy right now, I think. Except for experienced fighters. That's the only link I didn't have on this team. I thought about putting LR Piccolo on here because he has First Awaken and experienced fighters, but I didn't wind up doing it. 1.5. Okay. So just imagine he would have been over 2 million had he had his own passive, probably, or at least 1.8 or so. Oh, this guy had to show off with a crit, huh? And keep in mind the Bardock is only plus 300. So when he's at like plus 2,000 or something, he's going to be wild. Uh, okay. So you can have that. I, like, don't want to take too many hits from this guy. <laughs> the possibility that he kills me with that STR unit right there. But, Frieza, you better tell your, uh, your brother to sit down somewhere. You better, you better teach him how to sit down, you know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, so still, no, 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 I'm barely below it now. Bardock's passive is triggered here. Thank the heavens. Okay, so we can have that, and next time around, when we get the Goku, I'm gonna try not to heal, but next time we get the Goku, I should be able to trigger everything again, except for First Awaken. Oh no, uh, Experienced Fighters, that's a 10% link. So it's a big deal, but it's not the biggest of deals. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna seal him. It's unfortunate that he got that attack off, but Bardock, Burdock, Barracks. Okay, so as you see, he needs his own passive, basically. Vegeta's gonna get that 17 key. He basically needs his own passive triggered to hit for over a million. Unless you're running heavy support and he has a high potential, he needs his own passive. He's just not gonna get it without his own passive. And that's what we see. Um, I'm gonna take this turn. I'm gonna take it. And no, that was a mistake. Ah! And I noticed it as soon as I did it. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Dang it, that was a mistake. I, I wanted to get the Goku in the last slot so he can come back. And here goes my mandatory explainer for what rotations are, because I know somebody new doesn't know what they are. Uh, that's watching the video. So first couple units in the two slots, first two slots stay together always. The last slot comes back once every three turns. So yeah, if you wanna try to manipulate it and get units in a certain scenario like I've been doing this whole video, then that's how you do it. You keep two together and make one come back every now and again. Look at that tax stat though. Oh wait! Okay, so something good happened because I took the turn. I'm below 70 and barely above 30. But it's against a physical unit and I can't crit. <laughs> oh man. Oh wait, and then doesn't STR Bardock want you to be above 30% too? I didn't even think about that. Man, what is with these Bardock support passes? Here he goes, SS2 Bardock, when 30% or above. I literally got it for everybody this turn. Wow, that's, wow. Come on, game, really? <laughs> Come on. Against the physical unit? Okay, well, I'll try to get it next time. I'm gonna activate this. Probably don't need to, but I don't wanna take too much damage because I don't really have heal items. Wow! <laughs> Sorry for the distortion there. I just saw that it spiked a little bit, but yeah, that's, oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I had it. I thought everything was good. Well, it was good. Look at the attack stat, over two mil. 
<laughs> oh, you know what? I'm impressed, though. He hit for, like, almost 500 with type disadvantage. I'm impressed. That attack stat was so high. <laughs> if that was a tech unit, he would have definitely hit for 2 million. All right, let's go ahead and jump in again, and we'll finish the video after this stage um, because hopefully I can get the showcase to wind up the way that I want it to against that unit on the back end. So I'm going to try again to make Goku come back on that other rotation to get that limit breaking form despite the fact that it's probably better to get the support Bardock in there anyway but I still want to try to get him with more organic links as opposed to me just manipulating his attack stat okay so a tech phase oh hey this isn't a problem <laughs> don't mind do not mind And then intelligence right there. Okay, so he's tanking well enough. He is fine. Uh, 1.6 attack. What are we going to do here? Because the passive should have still triggered for both Bardocks. 1.2 million. Okay. Oh, a super. Really? You didn't seal him, Bardock. So Bardock doesn't guarantee a seal. It didn't matter, though. He doesn't guarantee a seal, but he has a very high, or a medium chance, I think, of sealing the enemy when he super attacks. So... Additionals can be really clutch on him because you know it gives him an extra chance from that from the way that I understand the mechanic to work But anyways, he hit for about as hard as Frieza did um, So Frieza was also with the support for the physical Bardock too. I believe I believe he works on super type allies While Bardock's 40% only works on no, no, excuse me I think the physical Bardock works on everybody, but you know uh, intelligence Bardock. I think only works on the hero types Okay, so Sorry, Frieza. Gonna go ahead and do this. I, I trust Mazda Vegeta. I do, but like I don't <laughs> at the same time. Explosion! Ah, I should have trusted him. Right, watch this board I get a crit. Watch him get a crit. Okay, cool. I was gonna say. Well, ah, uh, you, you had to do it, didn't you? You just had to do it. You had to knock me below the threshold with the super attack. I should run cargo. You know what? I should have brought Cargo. I really hate the Cargo item, but it's really good for trying to get above 30 and below 70. Because <laughs> now I have the rotation. Now. Oh, I'm barely above it. <laughs> I'm like at 32%. Oh, snap. Let me, uh, let me, oh my gosh. Let me, okay. Oh my god. Okay, all right, all right. So, I just need to pull up the Bardock here. One sec. Okay. Um, so first and foremost, I'll let you get that. This is such a, no, I messed up already. <laughs> Cause I was too concerned about blocking. <laughs> All right, well, fine. How about this, then? Since I messed up, I'm going to go ahead and use that. <laughs> that was an epic fail. And it, you know what? I could just reset. I could reset. I'm going to reset. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I completely reset the app. We're back. I will not make that mistake again. So, I'm now above the threshold. Everything is triggered. I'm still going to go ahead and heal. All right, I'm still going to heal. Because I don't want to take too many hits in here. Although Goku is really predictable. That first hit is not going to be a super attack. Uh, he will not even super attack this turn at all. But he's going to get sealed anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, you could completely predict this Goku event. What he does from here is second turn. Uh, I believe after your second attack. He launches a Kamehameha. Then third turn, he just completely just beats you. But yeah. So you don't do anything crazy. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Oh, you stunned him. Nice. 2.2 million. Bardock, show me something. Show me something. Come on. Ah, 1.3. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. For, again, plus 300 in the potential system. Also missing a 10% link. I will take it. Okay. So, we at least one-rounded this Goku. <laughs> Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Please consider subscribing for more content here on the channel. That being said, if you guys want to watch more videos, click on one of these. Take it easy.